so we're still on our way back from San Diego to St. Louis, and we stopped just outside of Tucumcari, New Mexico. So there's a little town about 15 miles away called San Hon, San, S-A-N-J-O-N, San Hon, and just less than probably a half a mile off of Interstate 40, which is basically the new Route 66, uh, is a park, San Hon Park, and they have free overnight parking. And so um, we haven't really explored, it doesn't really look like there's that much here besides a truck stop and this nice little park, uh, but there's plenty of uh, room to pull in here. There's one other travel trailer a couple of roads down. It's basically got three roads and kind of like a figure eight style. Um, and looks like a great option for free overnight parking, which is somewhat hard to find where it's posted and says free overnight parking. And? Oh. <laughs> I don't think she's gonna go outside because when we pulled up, there was a tarantula across the road about this big. Um, harmless pretty much, but uh, not in her mind. So we saw a tarantula and there are scorpions in this area and rattlesnakes, so um, you know, just be careful. The grass is cut real low. It's a nice, well-kept park. Um, it's not like people don't live in this environment. Yeah. Yes. People live here. There's houses all around as well, but there's just a tarantula minding his own business. He's hanging out over there on the uh, other side of the road now. Um, the dogs went right past him and didn't really pay any attention. We, Where were we? We, we, we boondocked in Prescott Valley the day before yesterday. Yesterday morning we got oh, up, right. we had lunch with some friends, and then we headed um, up towards Flagstaff, and then in, right when you get to Flagstaff, you catch Interstate 40 or Route, Route 66 there, and we headed east. And we went, I can't even tell you what town, I wouldn't even pronounce it, I think it was in kind of going through the uh, Indian Reservation. It was right next to one of the Indian centers. Um, I don't even remember the exit, probably can't help you that much. There was a big school bus up on this big rock at the exit there that you can see for the Indian Center. There's this huge gravel parking lot um, right when you exit, right before you go to the Indian Center. And we boondocked there and it was, you know, no issues there. It was a beautiful night. Um, so there's plenty of opportunities you keep your eye open as you're traveling to get some free um, free overnight camping. And that is one of the things that's really nice about having the RV now is having the generator so that we can uh, take showers and, and uh, um, you know cook if we need to, things like that, um, and not have to worry about draining our batteries. So